how to upgrade your vehicles in Brookhaven, fully customize them, add spoilers, rims. I mean, totally, you can change the lights, like, you can add different engines. You can fully customize your vehicles like you never could before in Brookhaven. So if you haven't already, hit the like button if you love your mom, and let's get this started. Customizing vehicles. I think the best place to do this is over at the auto shop. It only seems right. It only seems reasonable. The auto shop is the prime place to get your vehicle looking right and how you want it. However, there's a couple things I want to know at the at this video and at the end of this video, so stick around for that. But... Uh, let's see if the auto shop secret's back. Nope, 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 no auto shop. I mean, we do already get the criminal base and an RPZ. We do got that. But let's go ahead and spawn in our first vehicle that we want to make cool. I always get the Lamborghini. I always got to make the Lamborghinis look upgraded and nice. So this is your stock Lamborghini in Brookhaven. It looks pretty basic. looks pretty good. If we hop in that, we can change the color of it. So let's make a yellow one. Oh, not green. Yellow. And then once we do that, let's change the rims of the Lamborghini. Now, when it comes to fully customizing your vehicle with the new props and everything in Brookhaven, you kind of got to go through a different areas of, uh, to do that. But right here, if we click premium, we got some of the details that we can do there. Yes. But if we click here, we can change the rims right here. So let's kind of circle through and find these rims look kind of cool. I might go with that. Um, okay, I don't want to do nothing too crazy over the top. The Roblox rims are always cool, though. And some of the color, I do wish we could change the color of the rims by themselves. Let's go with that. That looks kind of crazy. Let's go ahead and already add some Turbo 3. And we can even jack this thing up, but uh, I think we're going to maybe make it really low to the ground like that. Yeah, okay. So, now we got that. We've got a couple things we've changed to the Lamborghini but now we want to go into the props. And in the prop interface, there's going to be a car section. This is where you add all the cool new additions to your car. So right here are some premium VIP. I, I, I keep calling VIP premium, but it, it, it is a VIP. And then if we come here, we can place these right here. Ooh, look at that. Okay, let's see if we can get a better placement. Boom. Look at those lights right there on the Lamborghini. All right, so let's get the VIP engine and po put it like right right there on the hood all right let's do that right here maybe nope it needs to look a little bit better than that nope stop looking sideways please please stop looking sideways okay that's not bad oh okay okay now obviously there's bikes and other things here is the vip spoiler so let's go here and let's place it right here oh why is my time changing hold up let me change my time here there we go now, look at this thing already, dude. Already, it's looking crazy. Um, so, if we want to even add more stuff, what is this? What, what is this one? What What is this? This is... I, maybe it's for a truck or something? <laughs> Hold up. I, I'm trying to learn what some of these... This is police sirens, which you can turn on. Oh, get off there. Um, all right, so we could po put police sirens on here, too. Oh, my God, dude. Instead of that... Oh! You do not want to run into this police officer. You do not want to run into this police officer. And then we can add one of these. Hold up. That don't look right there. Um, all right, so let's, let's do this. Oh, dude, look at this thing. This thing looks crazy. So... You guys seen what the stock Lamborghini looked like at the beginning. Now we have it fully customized and upgraded. We lowered it a little bit. We changed the rims. We put a brand new engine in it. We put police lights, which we can activate. Look at that. And then we put a little racing flag and a gigantic spoiler on the back. With our turbocharge enabled, this is absolutely a crazy looking Lambo, dude. This thing is definitely going to bat a couple eyes and people are going to be like, whoa. So, with the latest update in Brookhaven that we've recently received, of course, it introduced the VIP Game Pass. But it also added more customizable options to your vehicles that you never had before. Now, it wouldn't be right if we only did a Lamborghini. Let's do a truck and see some of the extent that we can take this thing to make it just look crazy. All right, here's a basic truck. It looks pretty good. Let's change it to, like, a light blue like that. Not bad. Um, how's the back of the truck? Okay, the back of the truck is like this. So... Now, let's make this thing just absolutely crazy. Here's another VIP engine. So, let's go ahead and place that right here. Oh, dude, it's already looking good. 
Now what I want to do is go here and see if I can put a working turret on the back. Oh. Hold up. Let me see if I can get in it. Okay. That placement is a little off. So let's get the placement right. Oh, dude. We got... Oh, my God. This is cool. This is cool, dude. This is really cool. So we got a working turret in the back of the truck. Oh, my God. Okay. So now... What, 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 let's go back to the cars. Okay, so we could put some lights on the top of this too. We could put, I wish you could change the colors of the lights, but we could add some improved lights right there, some additional lights. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. And honestly, over time, I hope and I believe more stuff is going to get added. So we just kind of have to wait for that. We can also add one of those there. This is like fully upgraded, dude. Crazy. Now, honestly, we could take our bikes and put them up there, too. Put some of our bikes up there. Now, I would like them to face forward, preferably. So, let's see if we can do that. No, they don't look good placed forward. Um, Okay, let's see if we place them like this. Dude, they're so big. Never mind. The bikes are too big. Oh, my God. The bikes are huge, dude. So, obviously, when you're in your avatar, you can change the size of your bikes. But the bikes just take up the whole roof. So we're going to have to skip on the bikes. Um, now, also, we can add other stuff as well to this. Um, so we can add an axe to the... We could add an axe to the top of our vehicle. We can put an axe up there. Uh, a shovel. Okay. So we could just kind of have like a... Since it's a rack, you know, we can put a lot of tools and stuff up there. And uh, let's put a flashlight. And then, like, we got all of our tools up there, too. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Now, obviously, we could go crazy and outlandish and put, like, basketball goals and stuff. But we want to make this reasonable, right? So we got, like, an apocalyptic truck. Like, okay, the zombie apocalypse just started. We got a turret on there. We upgraded our engine. We got all of our little tools that we can kill zombies with, which you can pick these tools up, too, if you need them, I think. And we got our lights, our customized lights added to it. Now, obviously, we can go here and also change our rims again. So, something that we deem fitting for this. Uh, I'm not really seeing a lot of good rims for the truck, sadly. That is kind of disappointing. Let's see what we got. Okay, that matched the color of our car. Um, let's see. Okay, we could just add those. And we can jack it up even more and then add some additional turbo. Oh, my God, dude. Look at this thing. Dude, I feel like this can run over the Lambo. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought it could. Some of the monster trucks actually will run over the cars. But not this one. All right, so here's our two upgraded cars, guys. Check this out. Check this out. Let me pull this up just a little bit. Okay, check this out, dude. All right, let's go shift cam and then take a look at this. Boom, fully customized and upgraded. More is going to come in the future, I assume, guys, that are going to allow you to upgrade your vehicle in the most outlandish ways, dude. Like this just, dude, look at this. This looks so cool. Like, let's not even act like this is not cool, dude. Like, wow, that is really cool. That is so cool. I love it. So, that be the case, um, you can do that now with the VIP. Now, obviously, guys, we did a whole video where we went over the VIP game pass, all the props that are included with the VIP, including the whoopee cushion. And um, there was a lot of different things that we went over that the VIP offers. So, if you think it's for you, feel free to purchase the VIP game pass. It's not much different in terms of title when it comes to premium. I even get the two mixed up when I'm calling them. I'm like premium VIP because it's basically kind of like the same. But the VIP just grants you with a lot of extra details and features. And I think content creators are really going to enjoy VIP and players that just play Brookhaven every day. VIP is going to be more accessible. However, some of the items are going to be VIP only going forward. And uh, it does create another, uh, like another little paywall in Brookhaven, which is kind of odd. But, you know, especially at this point of the game. But here it is. And uh, either way, though, it's been pretty fun to test it out and test run it. 
And that has been Brookhaven's latest update. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And as you guys know, we upload every single day, uh, giving you guys full coverage on the updates and just playing Roblox in general and having an absolute blast. So stick around and uh, there's no telling what you might see on the channel. Love you guys so much. We'll see you guys in the next one.